Fire Salute to the Troops today is from NASCAR driver number 24, Jeff. Maribel, thanks. You know, you may feel like you need a little extra sunshine to get you going today. Um, you have to see these two high school administrators in North Carolina rapping that there was no school because of Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> I, I like their skiing equipment, yeah. right? <laughs> Nothing like a little vanilla Ice Ice Baby. The head of the school says that they've been thinking about announcing future rain delays with Millie Vanilli's Blame It on the Rain. I just want to know, do the kids think it's cute? Are they like... Do they roll their eyes? I'm mean. wondering if this is a copycat off of a tape we had last week yeah. where the administrators were singing Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, that's and they rewrote. Was. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, I'm maybe. like, oh, oh, everyone's going to do it now. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hey, good morning, dear. Rain delays for school. I don't know if they do I never that. had one of those. I mean, either. Let me show you. So, <laughs> hey, travel wise today, I just checked with the latest cancellation numbers about 4,473. Most of out of Atlanta still. We're still mopping up around here, but now we're starting to see the cancellations out of Dulles, mm -hmm. Newark, LaGuardia. Let's, let's just all take a trip together. Where do you want to go? Virgin Islands. Okay, something. let's go. Something. Let's just thaw out. We'll Leave it behind. <laughs> we'll do it. All right. It could soon be legal for businesses to refuse to serve same-sex couples in Kansas. For the latest video, the band of um, brothers and a cousin, I think it is, are back on tour after nearly three years, which is like a lifetime if you're a musician. So we met up with them right before their first stop on the tour and asked them about a bunch of things. For example, why their time off they say is good for them I think you know in our time away it kind of gave people a chance to um, to forget about us in, in a good way because there for a while I think we were like an album so for us to have the time away not only was it important for us to get inspired again but I think it was important you know for our fan uh, to kind of want to see us again for the better and, and give them a great show I wasn't used to seeing the Kings of Leon so serious, but this was their first stop on the tour. We had an interview with them before and before their concert, so they had their game face on, you know? But we asked them about their goals for from a few albums ago. They're back on tour after a nearly three year break in honor of our Love Bites this week, Love Bites week. <laughs> We asked them um, when I got to sit down with them for an interview. Actually, I stood up for the interview. I was like, okay, so for Valentine's Day, you guys got any plans here? You got to hear how the drummer says he pulled off one Valentine's Day gift once. I gave you a teddy bear, and I took a girl on a date with that $20 um, voucher and gave her. But that was creative. That was my... You got, you got it done. Yeah. So that, how innovative was that? So back when he was broke, that's the hashtag. It is straight up 8 o'clock Eastern. I'm back news in the fast lane from this morning's show because who has time, right? Uh, I'm Robin Mead and let's get right to it. Highways across North Carolina. It is 10 minutes past the hour. The survivors of the Boston Marathon bombing and, in fact, the suspect's lawyers may not be pleased with a trial date that the judge has just set. It's going to be on November 3rd. But Zohar Zanaya's lawyers wanted it delayed until September of 2015. And one survivor says that they should not wait. Salute the troops today. Um, we have NASCAR driver number 24. If you're a fan, you know it's Jeff. Good morning, Mac. May have started with one employee and one email, and that employee allegedly fell for what's called the Spears phishing email attack. Maribel Aber explains, and she's in for Jen. Hey, thank you. You know, a huge storm that's been clobbering the southeast now goes to the northeast it is Margaret Conley. Good morning to you, and so how's the picture there? Robin, people here feared heavy snow again. Like, what are you, are, are you getting conditions right now? I'm glad that you can hear that, Robin, because I certainly can feel it. Yeah. It's is it just me or people are just sick and tired of winter. It has been especially stinky. I tell you, that's right. But you know what? The people here, they're a teen over loud music could learn his fate today. Michael Dunn on the case was working all day yesterday as we waited because now we could be hearing back from this jury at any moment later on this morning. At any moment, right. The jury comes back at 10 a.m. and then they begin their deliberations or they they had to show that this man um, didn't have any remorse and he um, didn't even seem upset about it. But at the same time, then they have to show that he, uh, for some reason, went after this person. Right. And, and, and here's the thing when it comes to first degree premeditation, a lot of people only a five day trial. Mm. So 
I think we'll get a verdict sooner rather than later. Were you um, impressed by either side yesterday in the closing arguments? I think they both did a great job. I think they both did a great, both sides did a great. That resumes at 10 a.m. Eastern. 10 so Vinny be on the watch for you. And then your show begins at noon. Um, that's Vinny Politan News Now on the case. Yeah. Noon today, thank you. So driving in New was like Russian roulette. If you ask one woman, that's how she described it. She said it took her three hours to get someplace that would normally take her two minutes. It's the sun, it's the temperatures that can change things because once it's on the ground and it's stuck, it is ice. So, Bob, good morning to you. We join him outside. Yeah, good morning, Robin. Getting a little dangerous out here right now, and I'll show you why. The winds probably want to know. Can I deliver a six-pack? To my ice hut. <laughs> All right, so now, if you're traveling today, I was surprised to read that um, earlier we had a statement from Delta basically saying that they were going to try to ease back into operations around mid-morning. Oh, really? For, out of Atlanta? Yeah. But it makes sense because now the back edge of the snow is moving away and temperatures should crack above freezing within the next couple of it means business again and it's not just snow it's mixing it with ice and that's a problem we'll talk about that in just a couple 4800 flights canceled yeah it's getting up to close to 5000 and that'll probably happen later this morning okay thank you all right so i salute to the truth today is from nascar driver number 24 jeff gordon hour now new this morning at least 16 make that 15 people got stuck on a roller coaster in the middle of a thunderstorm for more than three act may have started with one employee and one email and that employee allegedly fell for what's called the spear fishing email attack Maribel Aber explains and she's in for Jen today the jury goes back to deliberating the fate of the man accused of killing a teen over been kind enough to be up early because I know you guys were watching this all day waiting for these folks to get back uh, after they had the closing arguments. So they only got like a few hours in of deliberations, yeah, about three, right? About three hours of deliberations last night. Uh, they ordered some food, but they didn't stay all night, but they did request something which are surveillance video. He was told, don't be the investigators, let us be the investigators, and then we present it to you. Yes, you shouldn't do an independent investigation. You shouldn't go on the internet. You sh and my case had nothing to do with phone records, but they just wanted them. But we didn't have them. We didn't put them into evidence. And that's what I think is happening today. But we're on a verdict watch. Okay, so they resume at 10 a.m. Eastern. Yes, and the verdict can happen at any moment. All right, thank you. And I know you guys will be handling it as well. We will be. Now, the show itself, News Now on the case, is at noon Eastern. But once again, um, Vinny will help out if this comes in this morning. You may want to use fluoride toothpaste when you brush your baby's teeth. Now, there's brand new recommendations.